I'm gonna mention this right at the beginning, so if you take at least one thing away from this review, it's that you know that this kit is essentially an expanded version of the last Barbatos kit, just lacking the mace, katana, weapon mounting parts, and the left arm of the first form. <laughs> Hey what is up everyone and welcome back to yet another high grade iron blooded orphans review and we're right back to where we started Mikazuki's Gundam Barbatos and this time it's the sixth form. First off a quick look at the box and already this is starting to feel a little bit familiar. Isn't that pretty much the same picture of the original box just with more armor, explosions and a chainsaw? Don't get me wrong though, armor, explosions and a chainsaw make everything automatically that much more awesome but it is very similar. As for the rest of the box, on the sides we have the usual info and the ORP which comes in at 1,400 yen. As for what's in the box we get 7 runners in grey, white, yellow, red and blue as well as the polycaps. And although they've been renamed and redated, they're all basically just extended versions of what we've seen before in the original kit. But how different could this Barbatos actually be? Well, for the most part, the short answer is not at all. After building the original kit, as well as the Barbatos that came with the long distance booster, I've built this kit three times now. You can pretty much consider that four times if you include the incredibly similar Gushion rebake. And why not throw in the Kimaris as well to make it five, as it has a really similar inner frame and design in general. It's in fact so similar that I didn't bother panelining most of it or adding the seals, as I could just take all those parts from that kit I reviewed last time. But besides that, and considering it as a kit on its own, the sixth form looks super slick, but it's not without its issues. The new shoulder armor, chest armor, and high heeled feet look superb, giving Barbatos a more statuesque dominant feel. Finally, that shin armor no longer looks oversized, and for better or worse, the chest colors have been lost under the chest armor, leaving us with a mecha far removed from the conventional Gundam. But there is one aspect I just can't get past. The arms are tiny. Everything on this version of Gundam Barbatos has been extended and elongated besides those arms. And now they just look ridiculous. Taken just as they are or attached to the fourth form of the Barbatos, they look extremely impressive. With a new, thicker, more armored design and integrated auto cannons, these things look badass. But really, I just don't think they work on the sixth form. They just look too short and too stubby. As for color separation, it's just as bad as before, and we have this huge sheet of foils. Thankfully, the stickers for the shoulders on here are not as horrible as we've seen before at the fourth form, but if you want the best from this kit, then you better get your paints ready. So here is the Barbato sixth form with everything that it comes with. The main event here has to be the wrench mace, which I've nicknamed the Jaws of Death. It is essentially a giant mace with a big mouth with a chainsaw for teeth in the end of it. Now that is awesome. You might want to know that that chainsaw segment in there, that has to be removed to open and close it. And also, as you can see, it isn't color accurate, so this too will need to be painted. All of the parts required to convert this to the fourth form are included, and if you want to see that form, then check out this review here. And as well as those, we also have some parts for making the fifth form, which is this big piece of the chest, the reactive armor, and the arm mortars, which replace the autocannons in the forearms. However, to complete the fifth form, you do need this section here from McGillis's Greys, as well as this section from the Long Distance Booster. This is totally an excuse to make you buy other kits, but I do think this ability to interchange parts has to be my favorite aspect of the IBO high grade line. And it allows a lot of freedom to make your own cool custom mobile suits. However, I really have to mention that the most disappointing aspect here is the lack of dynamic hands. This kit packs in so much but misses something so simple but so important. I almost forgot to mention but you also get this hinged attachment part for on the backpack. Finally, as for articulation, you pretty much have what you've seen before in the original Barbatos kit. The bigger feet do get in the way ever so slightly, but the shoulder armor is absolutely arse kicking to say the least. It's really well designed, never gets in the way and it looks cool to boot. So that is it for the review. The sixth form could have been glorious, but the short arms really throw off the proportions entirely. You can see what could have been, but it's not quite there yet. This is just a mace, katana and left arm from being the definitive high-grade Gundam Barbatos model kit. Compared to the original, you do have a lot more options here, and to be honest, this is the kit that I would recommend. So, thank you for watching. As you can see, my setup has changed, so if there is anything you believe could be improved upon, let me know. You guys' input is invaluable to me. 
Also, a final note about this kit and these Iron Blooded Orphans kit is just check out my desk. The mess from this review. So far I have to say this is my favorite line of high grades by far. They're just so much fun. But anyway, as always, make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews and see you next time.